my name is Rachel Woods. I'm a sophomore at Thomas Jefferson. Start the dinner! And this is called Shout Through the Heart. Someone once said, you don't stop criminals by taking away their guns. You do it by using their guns against them. Okay, let me rephrase this so you thoroughly understand why this doesn't make sense to me. You don't stop murderers by taking away their weapons. You do it by becoming a murderer yourself. Can you hear the escalated amount of tortured screams, or have you gone deaf from the sound of your pistols? Do you realize that with your statement you are just creating more criminals? Our prisons are already overflowing, and we're running out of room in the cemeteries. We do not need any more murderers in this world. No. Main streets and back alleys will not stop being decorated by blood and dehumanized corpses if guns are harder to reach, but at least itchy trigger fingers will stop being as dangerous. It's true that anything can be deadly, but firearms can do nothing but uproot family trees. You can quote the Constitution all you want, but I'd like to see you recite the rest of it. In fact, let's take a closer look at the amendment you claim grants you immunity. <clears throat> A well-regulated militia, being necessary to the security of a free state, the right to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. It does not give individuals permission to walk around with rifles when there is no danger to your security in this free state. In other words, when war is not turning this country into a bigger funeral than it already is, even the Constitution doesn't grant you an invitation to keep a death sentence in your possession. But even if it did allow you to have more bullet shells in your house than breadcrumbs, there's a reason amendments exist, and it's to fix things that are no longer working. When hail against the roof sounds more like a bullet storm, something is clearly no longer working. Not everyone needs to own a shotgun, especially if the only rabbit herds being hunted are the families in their neighborhood. Shot through the heart is supposed to be a metaphor for a breakup, not something people fear on a daily basis. Personally, I would hate to live in the crossfire of deadly revenge and heat of the bullet, but if that's the reality you want to live in, Fine. Just stop filling up the graveyards for target practice. Awesome.